So the players are led forward for the Women's Singles Prize presentation. The runner-up is Saina Michael from India. Last year's champion, Saina Nawal, this year, beaten in the final by the former champion. Third China Open title. And a third in four years. So for a third time this year, Sina Nawal settles for second best. And for a second time this year, Li Shui Rei is champion. And it's the second Super Series title for Li Shui Rei. And it also happens to be a second Premier Super Series title because she won the Denmark Super Series, defended her title in Unza. And now in Fuzhou also the, the champion. A 14th career Super Series title for Li Shui
So three of our finals complete and three titles going to China. It is still possible for China uh, to win all five titles. They've never done that at their home event before. Never here at the China Open. Well, as you can see, next match is men's singles. Then we finish with men's uh, doubles. Of course, there has been a clean sweep by China previously. Seven times it's happened. Men's singles destination Dubai list will remain pretty much the same. The only changes will be Lin Dan and Chao Tian Chen will swap places. Lin Dan going up to number five and Chao Tian Chen lost in the second round here while Lin Dan reached the semi-final. And there you can see by semi-final stage uh, two Chinese players. And what a match it was in the bottom half of the draw. Good to see two Danish pairs players in quarter-final stage. So Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia unseeded this year his world ranking is almost certain to go up after this week in Fuzhou because that will be his 10th tournament counted towards his world ranking will it be third time lucky for the Malaysian he was beaten finalist here in 2007 and again a year later But his opponent is the two-time world champion, Chen Long, who today will be making his fifth appearance in the final here. His eighth final this year. Sixth Super Series final this year. Fourth Premier Super Series final this year. Of his seven previous finals, he's won them all. And he's only played ten tournaments. What a year he is having. So looking for a sixth Super Series tournament of the year. Only one person has achieved that and indeed more. And that's his opponent of today because Lee Chong Wei in 2010 won six uh, titles plus the Super Series finals of 2010 which were played in 2011. So I don't know if that counts as seven in the year or not. Uh, if we're looking at calendar years, Lee Chong Wei certainly achieved it in 2013. So this will be the 22nd meeting between these two players. They'll know each other's games inside out. And of course, the last time they played each other was in the World Championship final in Jakarta earlier this year. Well, Lee Chong Wei, I suppose part of the question mark in my mind, and we'll discuss that more in a minute, is whether there's a bit of a reaction after his wonderful victory over Lin Dan in the semi final yesterday, his first ever win against Lin Dan when the match has been played in China, and first win against Lin Dan since 2012 Korean Super Series tournament final. But there is no question this is the world number one, Chen Long number one on uh, both the world ranking and the super series uh, standings seven finals this year seven titles including those five super series well he's been exemplary in his path through to the final so far in the first round it was a repeat of the korean open super series a final against aj jayaram quarter final against number 17 victor axelson semi-final against sun wan ho who will be defending his hong kong open title uh, next week his opponent lee chong wei turned 33 last month the man born in georgetown in penang in malaysia up one place in the world ranking this week Ready to number play. nine, former world number one, and uh, twice an Olympic silver medalist. Well, 
his last three matches have gone the full distance. In the second round, in a repeat of the French Open final, he beat the number six seed, Chao Tien Chen. And then in the quarterfinal against number two seed, Jano Jorgensen. Yesterday's semi-final, he came from 15-10 down in that deciding game. He won eight straight points to go 18-15 up and finally closed it out. 21-19 uh, in an hour and 32 minutes. Now, uh, this was Lee Chong Wei, his smashes against Lin Dan. Now, the red shuttles mean outright winners. Uh, the yellow shuttles, the unreturned smashes, but Lin Dan getting Ladies his racket to it, and the blue shuttles right. uh, mean uh, smashes that were returned. Hopefully, we'll be able to left. see... Uh, those sort of stats from Malaysia. the first game of this final. Yeah, good opening rally. And Steen, coming back to my point, it was such a, a huge psychological step forward, I guess, for wow. Lee Chong Wei wow. after his suspension and his crisis in confidence during the Japan and Korean Super Series. And, you know, for him to beat Lin Dan in China yesterday, you know, do you think there's going to be a little bit of psychological reaction to that or do you think he's just so experienced that he sees this now as his big chance to uh, beat Chen Long? Um, <laughs> yeah, a little of, of both. Yeah. I think in some ways there's got to be some kind of, uh, of uh, response to it. I think psychologically it's a big, big boost. Yeah. Um, both because he, he beat Lin Dan in China getting a revenge from the, the the bad uh, defeat he was suffering in Japan, but also um, uh, overall to get the confidence that what you're working on is actually uh, that it's still possible. Uh, so I think he he is uh, <laughs> in many ways a little bit reborn. Um, mm. I think the longevity of the match should not really be a problem because there it, it was taking like 90 minutes or so mm. but it uh, was mainly because of the two players uh, perspiration uh, it was we had the court mopped a lot of times and so on so yeah hopefully he should be quite fresh um, but he's been playing tougher matches that Chin Long has Chin Long has been clinical uh, throughout this tournament and, and uh, we discussed it and I, I have Chin Long as a uh, quite clear favorite in, in this match but um, mm. We've seen great <laughs> matches. The first two matches were really, really great three-game matches. So mm. I wouldn't mind a three-game match here. Yeah. Now, I was mentioning that this is the 22nd meeting uh, between the two players of the previous 21. Chen Long has won 12 of them. Uh, but the interesting stat, I think, is the fact that they played 11 times in finals. And Chen Long has an overwhelming advantage in finals, yeah. winning eight of those 11. Yeah, but uh, I think the psychological effect is a little bit changed um, compared to those finals where Chen Long uh, coming as the uh, the heir to the throne from Lin Dan was, was the, the chaser mm. and, and trying to beat Li Chen Wei. I think it's changed now. I mean, Chen Long has won the last two World Championships beating Chung Wei, so I think it's Chung Wei who has something to win in this match. Chen yeah. Long, he, he can only lose. Yeah. I mean, it's expected that Chen Long should win, and I think a really, really good start from uh, from Li Chung Wei with what we discussed um, Thursday with his shot quality that I've criticized uh, from time to time that he's too loose on a number of occasions, and I think he's started out really well here. Um, we discussed it also in the Lin Dan match uh, with his uh, cross net shots and so on. Got to be more efficient and, and practice that efficiency in, in the matches where he doesn't play Chen Long or Lin Dan. Yeah. 
See those lifts there, they're great. Yeah, good smash from Chen Long. You do have to go back 19 months to the final of the India Super Series last year. The last time Lee Chong Wei beat his opponents of today. And the other thing here is actually uh, this match. He needs to bring some of those cross net shots back in his game. Just not from very, very close to, to the floor. It's too easy readable. That's well played. Yeah. That's well played. I really like that. And that was what we were discussing yesterday with Lin Dan. The follow up. The follow up. Go for it 100%. Mm. Because it creates uncertainty with your opponent. I mean, if, if Chen Long is allowed to get confidence in his defense, I'd rather have that Chen Wei is overplayed once or twice, but, but not that he's uh, sort of out-defensed by, by Chen Long, that, that he attacks and Chen Long gets a good return back and the rally goes on and on and on, because then it becomes difficult to, to see how am I actually going to score against this player here. So, a little bit what we discussed in the mixed doubles with the service returns that uh, the Danes could afford to make a couple of mistakes as long as they were making a lot of good ones. And it's the same about the attack from Lee Chung Wei. Well played. Great defense by Chin Long. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, he forced the short to lift, didn't he? With a good net shot. Look where his feet are. Yes. Landing inside that double service line. And it's still an excellent smash. A good smash, but he's staying in balance, and he would have mm. been really, really quick on the front court had Lee Chung Wei returned that one. Promising for this match. What a smash from Lee Chong Wei. Look at this. Gets back quickly. Threads it down the line. There's good steepness as well to it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we saw in, in the uh, quarterfinal, we saw Victor Axelsen um, execute a lot of uh, successful attacks from his uh, forehand side. So, um, interesting to see if that's also the case for Chung Wei. He started out well here. So, have they read, have the players read um, some part of Chen Long's game? When is he targeting the forehand? Good rally. Oh, yes. There it is. Yeah. But he took it higher. Yeah. 
Not too much, but uh, it was actually a well-executed shot. Oh, it's a great net shot from Chen Long. It's a very, very good rally once again. He's got to follow up on that one. Chong Wei, he, he shouldn't allow Chen Long to play back at him in the net. He's so fast that he can easily move to the backcourt, even though he's. If Chen Long is lifting. Oh, oh I don't believe it. That is an incredible net exchange. Take a look at this. Yeah. But it's the same as before. It's the same as before. I mean, he probably couldn't do anything about that, but I would have liked him to get folded for tapping it on the opponent's side. You, you got to play on the psychological part as well. When you play these shots, make sure that he cannot play back at you at the net. Beautiful clear. Beautiful clear because Chen Long should not be Hand able over. to anticipate Nine. when the attack is coming. Is it coming the first time, the second time, or only the third time that, that um, Li Cheng Wei has a chance in a particular rally? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. Seven, six. Of course, we've seen Chen Long beat uh, Li Cheng Wei in the World Championships, so that's why we're a little bit focused on what should Cheng Wei do to change yes. things around, and, and he's got off to a good start. So let's see what uh, the response is from uh, Chen Long. Missed it. Right. Yeah. So to the mid-game interval, Li Chong Wei with a five-point advantage, and he has made a very, very good start, the Malaysian. Yeah, good call line judge. This is where sport is so fascinating, isn't it? Steve, you know, you think back a couple of months to the crisis in confidence with Lee Chong Wei, losing first round of the qualifying in Seoul at the Korea, at the Korea Super Series. You know, not really back in Denmark, suddenly after beating Victor Axelsen in Paris at the French Super Series, he's like a different yeah. player. Yeah, and badminton is very much a psychological game and, and yeah. it's not always recognized enough, but it's uh, fast-paced decisions with accuracy and there's a guy on the other side trying to make it hard for you. Think about if, if you were playing golf and someone was knocking your ball a little bit off every time you tried to hit it. That would be even more difficult. Yep. Yeah. He's got to be careful. That's one of the things that, of course, Chin Long should should try to do: get these high lifts where he can get steepness on his uh, smashes. Chong Wei has to be careful. Not to give too much time away. The more steepness, the less he can use his uh, agility, his speed. Loose service return. Yeah, you talked about that yesterday. You yeah. shouldn't be trying to win the rally with that. No. 
return of serve. Yeah, You're just using it to set up the rally. He yeah. doesn't have to be that close no, to the no, net. No. Yeah, that's better. No, he didn't attack it. No. That's what, you know, is too tame. Yeah. Not threatening. That's brilliant yeah. from Chen Long. You see, Chen Long's got this ability from the back of the court. You know, it, you mentioned it earlier, that control in his body movement yeah. where he can hit these smashes. And it's a smash, but it, it's, it's not a hard smash. No. It's a precise smash. And I think in men's singles, it's much better using precise smashes yeah. than hard smashes because hard smashes tend to get you off balance. Yeah. You won't be able to follow up. And they are quite uh, inaccurate hard smashes. Mm. So uh, precise smashes is much better. So four points since the mid-game interval, and all four points to Chen Long. Chung Wei needs now is, is two things. Be a little bit more alert when he's played the net once. Uh, cover it a little bit more there. And then his, um, his shots from the baseline where he's low either in his forehand or his backhand side, they tend to be a little bit loose also. So needs to have a little bit more speed in those and, and play them all the way to the baseline once in a while. And then, of mm. course, we saw the service return. So actually three things that um, is improvable. Yeah. yeah. No. No, that's too low. It's a great shot. Here's there from this backhand side, Chin Long. Yeah. The sl straight slice. Good running. Yeah. I thought he was playing okay in this uh, in this rally, um, Li Chung Wei. Yeah, once again, not really uh, getting himself forward to the net no, to play no. the net shot. Exactly. Just, I'm um, all for players racket arm outstretch but you've got to get the feet there as well yeah and, and sometimes when, when the rallies get long I, I feel he gets a little bit weak in his belief mm. sometimes that that he's the one that's going to take advantage of the long rallies oh what a drop yeah, shot yeah. that is phenomenal and uh, just a, a slice to start with and, and then look at that and that short corner is is the corner that uh, Chen Long has the most problems covering it's not that he's not covering it well it's mm. just that if you you, you got to find some somewhere to start mm. with your, your tactical uh, plan and and he's a little bit slow in that uh, short forehand corner so it's pretty much the same uh, situation as uh, Lin Dan. Work a lot on the diagonal from the backhand, long backhand to the short forehand. Uh, against Chen Long, it's, it's advisable to use a lot of um, crosses as well. He's moving really well forwards and backwards, but if you get him moving sideways, he's not as strong as forwards backwards. That's very good. Bit did lucky. that go over? Yeah. It did. Yeah. But we yeah. saw this low backhand from, from the baseline, and this time he played it long. And that means that Chen Long won't be able to anticipate because it can go everywhere on the court. And he's been very loose with those shots um, recently. So. A lot of things looking better with uh, Chung Wei.
No. And that, that attempted uh, def uh, yeah. deceptive yeah. shot it was that was not the time or no. the place. No, and, and we saw yesterday that when he was actually he was he was trailing in Dan in the second game, he might as well lost in two games. He was behind, I think, 17-12, and and 10-15 in in the third. But when he was starting to catch up, was when he played more basic cutting down on all these strange deceptions that are way too big. It's the small deceptions that count. Good rally. Oh, oh he hit it long. What a missed <laughs> opportunity by Chen Long. Seemed to be in control. My goodness, look at that exchange. And clearly long with that back line. But a great reaction after we get him in uh, close up afterwards. Ah. Yeah, smiling and yeah. That was a little mm. too, uh, too loose. Should have won that one. I'll take the next. Yeah. Oozing with confidence, not sort of uh, dwelling on the mistake. Yes, well yeah. played. Well played. It's so yeah. important for his attack and, and his uh, his dangerousness that he comes forward and, and takes advantage of this. Yeah, the follow-up. Yes. Yeah. Because eventually Chen Long will have to be a little bit uh, careful, uh, just lifting, and then you can start anticipating a bit more. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes, it's landed in. Yeah, there we... We see the defense 13, from uh, Chen Long. I feel this is a situation where Chung Wei needs to be really careful not to fall back into this a little bit lackluster game that he gets away with against a number of players because they're simply not good enough to punish him. But if he starts making these uh, low returns from the front court and, and too many deceptions and so on, he will get punished. Good shot. You took that earlier at the net. Oh, but great net play. Oh, my goodness. That is fantastic. My goodness me, I thought he had lost that rally. How precise is Chin Long on those? Wow. But how did he get that back? And then look at that, the perfect lift. Chin Long. Yeah. He was almost returning it with, the back to the, with his back to the net. Mm, brilliant. Uh, it was lucky, uh, Chong Wei, when, when, when uh, Chen Long hit the net court, it actually spun a little bit away from the net, so it was returnable. That's, that's, that's a beautiful smash. That is magnificent. Look, he's jumping not only up, but slightly forward as well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Gives extra momentum on the recovery.
smash and good defense. That's a great clear. Great clear. Excellent yep. play. Yeah, well played. Great rally by Chen Long. Just making the advantage bigger and bigger with every shot. Yeah, it doesn't help Li Chong Wei doing the full pirouette there. Because you then have to refocus your yeah. eyes off your opponent. Tends to direct his rally winning smashes at Chong Wei's backhand, Chen Long. Missed it. Yeah. But well played. He was at the net. He was playing that cross net shot that got him an opportunity. Taser Bok. Are you realizing the importance of this first game? This is an important point. Oh, yeah. that is phenomenal. That is utterly brilliant. Two wonderful smashes from Lee Chong Wei. But but what a difference from <laughs> from yesterday, having lost the first game and being down 17-12 in the second. Mm. So two points away from this open 19, game. 16. Lee Chong Wei. Lucky. Luck of the net court there yeah. for the Malaysian. Brings up game point opportunities. 20, game point. Well, say it's lucky, yeah, I agree, but sometimes you create your own luck. He has played a positive opening game. Yeah, it's been a fantastic uh, first game. Yeah. Not over yet. It is now. First game point opportunity. 21 15 uh, to Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. 27 minutes of magnificent badminton. The world champion and current world number one against the former world number one. Look at that poetry in motion. Not giving away, but but he, he cannot be satisfied that uh, Chong Wei is taking the initiative. So he has to challenge him, and, and he has to challenge at the net. And uh, I think we're going to see him play a, a much more um, sharp net game, or try to play a sharper net game, Chen Long now. Um, 
trying to play a little bit more offensive in order to uh, prevent Chung Wei from 20 attacking. Seconds. 20 seconds. Coaches, thank you. And this has been the beauty of, of the game that, that Chung Wei has played in the first game, that he has, he has uh, if he's attacked like, for just let's just say 10 times, then at least eight of the times it's been a winner. Mm. So we haven't seen the normally strong defense of, uh, of okay. Chen Long. Level. Yes, that so defense play. have been totally shut down by clever play. So here we go, game number two. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, so the question mark is really whether Li Chong Wei can keep hitting these winners because your point about Yeah. Yeah. But but and, and there's winners like this where it's it's precise accuracy that, that does the trick and if the lift is high, we've seen him jump and, and fire full power smashes. Yeah. That, that's the one, that's the loose shots that I was talking about. Yeah. We didn't see a lot of those in, in, in the first game. We saw a lot of um, variation, and he needs to continue that variation, especially from his, uh, his backhand side, but also his forehand side. See? Well, this Li Chong Wei's eighth attempt to win this title here at the China Open. Twice got through to the final. One of the few Super Series he's never won. But I guess that doesn't enter into his thought process at the moment. He's just thinking, focused absolutely on the next rally, one point at a time. Hopefully. Yeah. Great shot. Great retrieval by Chin Long. Wide. Three, one. Yeah, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Too cool, line judge. That corner is a little bit slower for Chen Long than the three others. We ought to make mention of the fact that this is Li Chong Wei's 90th 9-0 international tournament final today. That in itself is staggering. Yeah. He's often played a, a bit too much to my taste. Played many, many tournaments. Domestic Malaysian tournaments as well. Yeah, I haven't included any of those in my calculations. Oh. Well, a lot of uh, Chen Long shots directed at the uh, long backhand from uh, Li Cheng Wei. Or with Li Cheng Wei. Great shot. Yeah, that's brilliant. That finds the line. Three, four.
Maybe we can add that to our improval list for um, Chung Wei, flat backhand. Seems like it's going to be targeted a little bit. Uh, Chen Long talking to his coaches and saying, yeah, that's right. It's not so dangerous from that corner. When I have the correct height and the correct length on my own game. Clever play from Chen Long, isn't it? Yeah. And the block on the body smash is the one that did the damage. It's going to be a very tactical second game now, I suspect. Uh, <laughs> the players are more or less targeting the same areas with each other. Uh, long backhand to open up for the short forehand. Who can do it the better way with most Five. disguise, most variation, better shot quality? How? Oh, where did that come from? That's what we've been uh, urging him to do. Yes. Six. Five. That. You won't see better than that. Oh, you can it. Do. oh my goodness! Well, yeah. cool as you like. Li Chong Wei. Seven, five. It was just going through my mind. Well, anything you can do. Chen Long yeah. sending a message, but look at that. Look at that defense from Li Chong Wei. is important a few rallies if you ask me two, two very welcome points there mm. oh i don't believe it oh no it didn't go over that no. time no no i can see it now yeah but, oh, but, but look, think about it. He would have been in trouble, Chen Long. And, and Good shot. Yeah. Jumping from the center of the court. Seven, sure what to do from that deep backhand corner is he Lee Chong Wei no that that should be I mean he, he should play the backhand corner of of, um, of Chen Long he should keep distributing uh, the, the shots evenly around the court a bit more to the long backhand side the problem is that he needs to cover his own forehand side but he, he needs to invest all the energy now in doing that because otherwise Chen Long is is uh, regaining the initiative in this match good rally yes ah! well played oh my and, and he needs to use that shot even though he's he's a little bit under pressure That's just needs to execute a little bit quicker and mix that up with straight clears and cross clears he'll have a good chance but you could say exactly the same for Chen Long
Oh, brilliant. Oh. Well, amazing defence from Lee Chong Wei. But what an uncharacteristic error from Chen Long. Perhaps the frustration that his opponent was getting the shuttle back. That's incredible rally, isn't it? He deviated from his normal tactics mm. of, uh, of targeting the backhand side. And his uh, smashes. Oh, my goodness me, what on earth happened there? Well, I don't think I've seen Chen Long ever do that. Was that? Uh, he's looking up at the lights. Have uh, a feeling he may have had half an eye on his opponent as well. But the fact is, Li Chong Wei has a three-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the second game, having already won the first. Oh, yes. There's that tactic again. Get it deep well, into your opponent's backhand eight. corner with a disguised shot. Force them to play the backhand. And then you can go for the winner. opportunity on the smash there from Chen Long he looks at his racket the strings are all right and this is five straight points and it was eight all remember being outplayed at the moment uh, Chen Long yeah and I thought at eight all I thought if Chen Long had won the next couple of points I think there may have been a very different yeah. scenario it's wide Seven straight points. This is extraordinary. Now, this is reminiscent of yesterday. Only yesterday, Lee Chong Wei was coming from behind.
eight straight points. What on earth has happened? 16, I think the psychology has uh, gotten to Chen Long. The guy in the white shirt gets way too much back. Oh, that's well done. Very well done. My goodness, didn't they need to stop that run of points? Beautiful, absolutely magnificent. Well, I know I said it earlier, Steen, but he looks like a different man since yeah. beating Victor yeah. Axelson in Paris. Yeah, you've been saying that all week, and I've been sort yeah. of questioning it and saying that I still believed in Chen Long. Way forcing these errors because he was down in his diving defenses and, and mm. they, he's been more successful in his defense than, than Chen Long has. Now, well, Steve, you've just come up with a very interesting stat that uh, Li Chong Wei has never beaten Lin Dan and Chen Long in the same tournament. That could be about to change. Defense. Oh, that's yeah. even better. That is even better. Oh. Perhaps about to join his wife as a winner of um, China Open. Yep. Of course, Wang Ming Chu won in 2007. Won the women's singles. We beat Mrs. Lindan in the final, didn't she? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Missed it. That, that's probably one of those where I'll just take a challenge just to see if um, what I believe is correct. But, but just get, get it. Tested. It's not that I think it was an incorrect call or anything, it's just how much was it out? Thank you. Is it? Eleven. So far, the most complete game of the tournament for Li Chung Wei. Yeah. We saw the um, quarterfinal. It was not on the TV court, but um, against Jano Jorgensen. It was two really, really good games and one really, really strange and not very good one. Oh, that's incredible. Great rally. Oh, my goodness. Everything back now, That's Chung Wei. It's incredible a rally, and even more incredible that it's the rally that brings up match point opportunities for Lee Chong Wei. How on earth did he stay in that rally? Unbelievable. 
29 shots. Look at that. And then gets out of the way. Match point, Lee Chong Wei. It's gone wide. Lee Chong Wei in his third final here at the China Open wins his first ever title. Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia is back there is no questioning that anymore his fourth title of the year his second a super series title is a second super series title after his first the last super series event the french uh, prior to this china open for li chong wei it is a 40th career Super Series title. Well, for him to beat Lin Dan and Chen Long back to back, semi-final and final. Well, superb. Two months ago, a crisis in confidence. Now, it appears uh, that he's just oozing with confidence. Their confirmation of how he won his first ever China Open title. Li Chong Wei, a victory to the Malaysian. 21-15, 21-11 in 50 minutes of play. Steve, that was impressive. presentation for the men's singles and what a week it's been for Lee Chong Wei what a couple of tournaments it's been for Lee Chong Wei after his victory in Paris Steen it was incredible yeah and really bad news for for his competitors because this will convince him that what he's working on back in Malaysia with his foreign partners, with his coaching staff, is actually working. Yeah. So he just gets more confidence, more energy to uh, improve even more, because we've seen there are areas that still can be improved. Yeah, that's a staggering thought. Well, Chen Long in his fifth final here today, the three-time former champion for a second time has to settle for second best. First time this year he's been beaten in a final. It's the eighth final of the year. But for Lee Chong Wei, the comeback is complete. Two back-to-back -back titles. Two Super Series titles. And this, a Premier Super Series. Well, for a singles player to win 40 career 
Super Series titles is incredible. The other players who have achieved 40 have played doubles and mixed doubles. Anton Subowo, BWF Vice President and President of Asia Badminton Confederation. Making the awards, making the presentation. The checks presented by Mr. Wu Yu. Yeah. Was that a look of relief as well from Lee Chong Wei? I wouldn't be surprised. All the doubts, all the doubters. Well, he's answered them all. And it's a revival of uh, two great rivalries, both the one with Lin Dan and the one with Chen Long. Yeah. He needed a victory to, to revive those revivals. Yeah. So just increases the tension moving forward in World Badminton. Indeed. Chong Wei. I can remember saying recently while I was commentating, you don't become a bad player overnight. And all the crisis and confidence, I know what he went through, you know, so many of us have, but uh, this is really astonishing. Beating Lin Dan for the first time ever in China and then backing it up by for the first time ever beating both Lin Dan and Chen Long back to back. Well, that's scintillating performance from Li Chong Wei means that China will not have a clean sweep of titles. There's just one more final to come. It is men's doubles. But before...